And he also shelled out about a million bucks for tall trees to put around the property. It's oh, okay, wait a minute, what? You cut it freaking trees? <laughs> the home has an NBA regulation sized indoor basketball court. So that great. Oh god, I'm so poor. <laughs> so poor. So in part 17 of Brienne having some really bad luck at the moment, I got a speeding fine in the mail today. Also the road was flooded on the way to the studio, so I may never leave this room again. That's on top of my Mac breaking and like a billion other things, but it's fine because we're here, we've got our legs. Love still having my limbs. And look, I've got a jar of Vegemite and a nut bar here, so I have provisions for at least the next eight and a half minutes. Since I'm gonna be balling out spending all this money on this speeding fine, I decided it would be a good idea to go and look at celebrity mansions that I cannot afford. Also, while I Remember, you can get this t-shirt from my clothing brand, Riff. It's our Save the Reef tee because 50% of the profits are going to the Australian Marine Conservation Society because they do a lot of work with the reef and just our marine life in general. But let's jump into it. What's up, guys? My name is Zen, and welcome to my home. I'll take you on a little tour. Already, oh my god. I was about to say the gates look more expensive than my net worth, but now there's this, and I'm guessing this is like 2% of his house. Oh wow, that's this is shit. That's fresh. Part of the view, I really never get tired of a view like this, which is really zen and peaceful. Oh, well, you wouldn't uh, get sick relaxed. of any of it, mate. The bottom part will be the studio. The top part is the gym, oh. the outdoor. This section of the house is the living, and this is like sleeping. I'm sorry. You need a whole like thousand square feet just to sleep. I don't know how, but nobody's ever fallen in here. Sounds like a uh, challenge, buddy. Drunk or not drunk? Please don't be the first one. When you walk in, whatever it's, it's like. You know what I like about this one is it's nice. It's like very tasteful and really spacious and just nice. A lot of rich people houses that we've gone through in the past have just not, not been great. Six bedrooms and 13. Oh, money cannot buy taste. What is that? A little bit of everything right It looks like an house. art gallery. This entire house was actually built around this tree. Unfortunately, it is dying. You built this entire house around the tree and they can't even keep it alive. <laughs> that looks just like this and I'll also add um, an iPhone charger in there in case I ever want to charge my phone right here. Game what? Shit. Is this like how rich people think? Because I never would have even thought to be like, yeah, I'm putting a new tree and I'm going to put an iPhone charger there as well, just in case. And this is a little hand that holds my keys. <laughs> That's cute. So, I'll give him that. That's pretty cute. They're all kind of mixed in so there will be Grammy next to a poop emoji. Grammy next to a poop emoji. Same, dude. I also have both of those things. The gallery, the art gallery, um, the purpose is the Skittles machine. Well, of course you'd have a Skittles machine. It'd be rude not to. This is where I will start. Oh, the lawn is just so well kept and healthy. The hot tub is in the pool and you can't really- The pool just called me poor. It's effectively just a bit of cement and water and it's still called me poor. All the guest bedrooms are all back to back and everybody- The fact that he said all guest bedrooms and not just the guest bedroom or please sleep on the couch because we don't have a guest bedroom. <laughs> It has the wood ceilings. Um, That's pretty. The stone that we've seen earlier. That's on the really nice. And on the inside. This view is beautiful and amazing to have. God, the and vibes are immaculate. Really well done, mate. This is the bathroom. It's really everything I've ever wanted in a bathroom. I think it's perfect. The, the bathroom, no shit, is literally bigger than my bedroom. Holy shit. <laughs> I've had enough of this one. It's too nice. It's too nice, it's too fancy. I don't know what I was expecting. He seems like a nice guy, can't fault that. Let's go to Wiz Khalifa's $4.6 million LA mansion and recording studio. Maybe he could pay my speeding fine. <laughs> but if you, like me, cannot afford this type of lavish nonsense, honestly, and you do love a bit of a bargain, then you'll love Honey, who has kindly sponsored this video today. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them when you're checking out. It is very, very easy to use. So I'm getting a couple of things from Beginning Boutique and this is basically how it works. You just press apply discounts and it'll run through all of the discount codes that it has. And easy as that, I've saved nearly $20 from literally doing nothing. It's really easy to install. It only takes a couple of clicks. Honey supports all kinds of retailers from tech and gaming sites to fashion brands or even food delivery. It's completely free and it works with whatever browser you use. It's quite simple. If you have a computer, you should have Honey on it. You can get Honey for free today by going to joinhoney.com slash Brienne. That's joinhoney.com slash Brienne so they know that I sent you. And thanks again to Honey for sponsoring today's video. Oh, this already seems just sick. All right, so this space right here is clearly for kicking it. Yeah, that's sick as. It's just a good vibe, you know what I mean? It is, it's great vibes. 
the vinyls. We got old school equipment. This just, honestly, this whole thing just seems sick. Like, I really do just want to hang out there. You've done well with that. Got me there, mate. Yeah, there's a lot of pictures of me in here because I love myself. <laughs> At least he's honest, honestly. I mean, if I had a picture like that of me, I'd have it blown up and would have it hanging in my room as well. How did he get that high? No, but seriously, that's a big jump. I don't remember when I jumped like that, but my cameraman caught a good ass. I'm glad he's addressing it. And he took a picture and I was like, we have to blow that up and we have to put that in my house. I swear to God, I did not hear that before he said it. It's my favorite part of the house because it's a studio. It's a recording studio. That's sick. And we're in here. Looks very and expensive. Looks like I would not want to take a drink in there. I would walk in there with a glass of water and just ruin like $60,000 worth of things. It's really good inside out. That grass. Damn. I mean, I know I'm really zeroing in. Oh, it's fake. I know I, I just love a good lawn. I love a good lawn. My favorite thing about the pool is that it's heated. I could jump in there, but I don't find That's cold. so cool, man. It'll never be cold in my pool. Inside Drake's $100 million mansion. That is, what is Drake's net worth? That's $150 million. I mean, that's a, I feel like that's a bit low if his house is $100 million. Oh, that looks like some big bathtubs. Big bath. Is that a basketball court? We'll get there. Let's just slow it down. The rapper even got special permission from the city of Toronto to build the fences around his house twice the legal height. I guess if you were Drake, you'd probably want to. And he also shelled out about a million bucks for tall trees to put around the property. Oh, it's like I get it fully, but a million dollars on trees. What kind, where the, what kind of freaking trees? <laughs> I think I just had a stroke. How is it anyway? Let's continue. If I can't handle the trees around the property, I'm gonna struggle with the rest of this video. The home has an NBA <sighs> regulation sized indoor basketball court. So that great- Oh God, I'm so poor. <laughs> so poor. He's got an NBA regulation basketball court. My God. Uh, I bought the kilo bag of $9 coffee from Coles because it was cheaper. <laughs> Drake and his friends can get in a quick game of ball before they head to his- <laughs> I'm sorry. Drake and his friends can get in a game of ball. You could not have sounded more nerdy, mate. <laughs> the studio comes complete with a cozy lounge. Oh, that's nice. And that's Is that- comes complete. Look at those crystals. There's some big ass crystals. There's an entire room called the awards room where he displays all of his achievements yeah well you honestly when you're that successful i guess you would have an entire room just for awards after a hard day of work drake can relax and entertain friends in the great room with its i don't i'll be pretty blunt i don't like the great room very much weird tones weird vibe in there four foot high ceilings and tons of room to kick back is this also the great room this looks like a casino a little bit the first is a bossendorfer bespoke grand piano Designed by his architect Ferris Rafali and Takashi Murakama, a Bossendorfer can cost anywhere between $756,000 to $560,000. So Drake probably spent a good amount of his decor budget on this statement piece. Imagine spending a decent chunk of a budget on a $100 million house just on one piano. Oh man, this is doing my head in a little bit. The second epic piece of decor is a replica of the Metropolitan Chandelier. Over 20,000 pieces of hand-cut Swarovski crystal make up the Grand Chandelier. It's just the opulence. The unnecessary opulence is what gets me. Like, when you get to that level of wealth, do you just think, fuck it, I'm gonna be so extra for absolutely no reason other than for the sake of being extra. But despite the luxury, Drake would much rather spend his time in his 3,200 square foot master bedroom. See, this is this is where I'm getting like, what what is going on? This looks like shockingly plain and kind of boring and very much out of the Victorian era. Some like medieval shit. I don't really vibe with it. Since my opinion on this $100 million house matters at all. It's probably that 4,000 pound tub of black marble. It was carved from one single. <laughs> you need to reinforce the entire house just to put the tub in. Oh, I just want to slide down the side of that so bad. We haven't gotten a very good look inside this massive closet, but Drake told Architectural Digest that it was designed with raw luxury materials like amethyst, rock crystal, and even diamond. <laughs> For what? For what? For what reason does your two-story closet need to be made out of amethyst and diamonds? Take a dip in his indoor or outdoor pool. The indoor <laughs> pool is made of black granite That's and massive. has a black light, so Drake can change up the room's atmosphere for any occasion. Honestly, love the little touches on that. That's really sick. Atmosphere seems pretty important to Drake, is since he also has a high-tech singing toilet outfitted with customizable neon lighting. 
Because why wouldn't you, I guess? Why not? Why not have the toilet sing to me as I'm singing to the porcelain gods? Who cares? It's hard to believe that all this luxury is in only one of Drake's properties. The star also owns three- Oh, properties. honey. The first is a $4.5 million to- You know what? When they say eat the rich, sometimes I'm like, Give me a fork. Calls this one the YOLO estate. And you would. <laughs> if you were Drake, yeah, you would call it the friggin' YOLO estate. Why not? The joy of this trio of properties is the 7.7 million dollars. This million one's pretty dollars. sick. You know what, though? You hate to see it. The planet hates to see it. This looks really sick, but it's so clear from the background and the landscape that that kind of green grass should not be there and is so bad for the environment. Like, that's so much wasted water just to have green grass. And I love a lot. <laughs> As we've established, the bitch loves a lawn. The home also has tons of activities, like a home gym, tennis court. Yeah, you lost me there. A home gym doesn't sound like a fun activity to me. Next up, we're going to be looking at James Charles's house, which it looks like he bought in August. All right, straight off the bat, looks great. Cute dog. Also has a piano. It's a Yamaha, though. It's not a Birkenstock Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated. Bossendorfer bespoke grand piano. Too much of a peasant to even know the name of Drake's piano. Hi, sisters. James Charles here, and welcome to the official. I don't watch James Charles that much. I didn't know he actually greets people with hi, sisters. I just thought that was a meme. Personally, I cannot read music, but as long as you know how to play the classics, that's all that matters. <laughs> You got me there, mate. Okay, now coming out of the formal dining room, if we keep walking further into the is that hall, this next feature is the wine cellar. Is that Coke? But for somebody like me who doesn't drink wine, it's pretty pointless. And if you guys remember the last time, Fair. the wine cellar literally stayed empty for the entire year and a half that I was living there. Yeah, honestly, makes perfect sense. I would probably prefer a Coke cellar over a wine cellar. I honestly... The dog. Hey, buddy. It's very evident that he does have good taste. It's just very nicely decorated. I feel like this is very nice, but I would feel too dirty to exist in a house that's this nice. A popcorn machine. Oh, a theater. Every rich person has a cinema, I guess. I don't really watch like movies and that that often. I'd rather watch it on like a tiny little 13 inch laptop screen. Massive. This is definitely where most of the renovations oh, place. Holy so shit. How did you end up with a production studio in your basement? Whoa. Whoa, that's just like, I, yeah, I get it. His videos are obviously very high quality, but I didn't know this was the setup. I'm sitting here with one ring light and a little neon sign and a dying plant. Jesus Christ. Really hectic setup. Nice. Oh, and there's, this is all his makeup. That's just his makeup. Oh my God, man. I don't even know where to start with this, hey? Oh, that's lush. Oh, that's a nice yard. Look at the little egg chair in the tree. He's not playing basketball, <laughs> let's be honest. That is, mm. no, nah, that's nice. Wow, that is an impressive yard. I honestly don't even want to go into all the reasons why this is a great yard. It's just excellent. I've had quite enough. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. So hopefully one day I can afford a house that is one tenth of any of these. I make new videos every couple of days and I give shout outs at the end of every video to people who subscribe and put the bell on. This week's shout out goes to GTA God. Thank you guys for subscribing, commenting, supporting my clothing brand or anything else. Just existing in this part of the internet at all and I will see you in a few days with a new video.